Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as pre- Great job. Deposit the left. Well done. Deposit the right eye. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's set. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job! Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate and we'll call it a day. Well done! That concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior. Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. Oh no, it looks like Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To clear the infestation, avoid inhaling the chemi spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Well done. Oh no, it looks like Chica needs another dose of the chemi spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push as needed. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Great job! Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. Delicious. See you next time. <coughs> Using proprietary technology developed by Fazbear Entertainment, our VR development teams were able to use vintage control boards almost like plug and play 